Hello, I'm Matthias and welcome to a new video. ImageLine already provided new plugins in the beta cycle of the upcoming version 21 we will have a look at today. This video shall not be a complete walkthrough of the functionality of these new additions, but more a first get to know presentation of what you can expect. The detailed walkthrough I save for later on, when the full version is released and everybody can play around with them to try out yourself what I'm saying and showing. Because there are always many claims, ImageLine is working on plugins instead of improving Ethel Studio itself. I like to repeat here what the developers have posted in their forum. These new plugin editions weren't made by people who are working on FL Studio itself. This is a separate developing team, which if not making new plugins, wouldn't have any purpose. Just imagine a car manufacturer would have two departments, one where the car is built and a department where accessories are made, such as spoilers or alloy wheels. If this second department would stop making those parts, this wouldn't speed up the car production. All the production lines available in the car building department are already running at 100%. There is no more room for making new lines. No way these additional workers could help in any way to speed up the work even more. At the very end the only difference would be that there would be no more accessories. So just enjoy the new processes. They didn't steal any developing time from the main app. The first plugin which was introduced in the second beta is called Multiband Delay. And according to the manual, it will be included for free from the producer edition and onwards. Some of you will recognize some similarities to an older plugin we had in FL Studio already for a long time. And you're right. The new Multiband Delay is at least from the GUI handling and some of the functions, an old friend in the new guys, EQO. Nonetheless, it's a complete different beast. Even with many similarities, EQO was more or less a standard graphical equalizer with some new ideas, while the new multiband delay is a great sound mangling tool, which can lift your sounds into new dimensions. By the way, as you can see, I added a cursor highlighter that you can easier follow what I'm doing here. Left clicking let the high line turn into light blue and right clicking into a darker one. Additionally, it has a function to really highlight the part around the cursor. Please tell me in the comments if this is helpful or not. Especially with shorter delay times, for what we've got an extra button to divide the original delay time by 10 and high feedback settings, we get a behavior which reminds very much to a comb filter. Just in short that you get a basic understanding how this works. And don't worry if you don't understand everything right from the start. As most image line plugins, this one is a beast, which seems to be simple at first glance, but it's very, very deep and needs really time and practice to explore what's possible. The whole frequency spectrum is divided into 16 bands. The behavior of the filter separating these bands you can set to taste from much overlapping to more separated up to linear phase without any phase shifting. Under the delay tab I can set now in a chosen bank a delay time for the individual bands. For doing so I can choose between three different tools. Curve, which is the default one. Line. and Pencil, which affects just a single band at a given time. Here's a little drop-down menu which has some helpful options. For example, interpolating between the settings of the first and the last bank to get some kind of transition when morphing through them. While the dark blue lines are the ones you have set on that chosen bank, actually the light blue lines are the ones which are currently used by the plugin. The scale knob defines the amount how much of the delay you have set is applied to the signal. In the center position, no matter what I set in the graph, no change at all is applied to the signal. Moving the knob to the right or the left applies the delay to the signal up to 100% or reverses up to 100% your settings from left to right indicated by the blue shade. 
This means you basically set the maximum value for the delay in the graph, but what actually gets applied of these values is defined by the scale knob and indicated by the blue shade. Enough theory. Let's make some noise. Even if any sound can be manipulated by this plugin, for demonstration purposes, what can be done with it? The best sounds are percussive ones. Just some simple examples here. While I use just the delay tab and ignore for the moment volume, pan and all the other goodies. As I said, more details later. Lots of fun. While the key here is not knowing but experimenting. There are some basic rules, but at the very end it's very hard to predict how different source materials will sound with given settings. The semitone switch changes the delay values from milliseconds to half tones and enables you easily with a bit of automation, for example, to play melodies out of drum sounds. As already teased, there is another new plugin which was introduced in Beta 5, but will be just available in the All Plugins edition. Means ImageLine will not give this to everybody for free, but it has to be purchased separately for everybody not having the full bundle. Perhaps a good reason to make the move to the full edition with all its great plugins. Luxverb is a great sounding algorithmic reverb which really does it all including a highly customizable reverberation engine, which leaves nothing to be desired, with a first-class sound, which for sure doesn't have to hide against the competition of all the third-party payware out there. An intense envelope section for all kinds of ducking and gating for the wet sound or the decay, like the famous 80s snare. I have never seen such a section in this intense in the reverb plugin. A dedicated feedback section, including pitch shifting for the famous shimmer reverb. 
and for example freezing for endless sounds and sound design in general. This plugin is a monster of a reverb and for sure worth every penny they will sell it for. I don't think we have to go over how a reverb plugin works in general, so I leave it here with a few simple sound examples, as I have to test the boundaries of this plugin myself before we can go into deeper details. your eyes. Feel the power of silence. Feel your heart beating. Relax. Close your eyes. Feel the power of silence. Feel your heart beating. Relax. Close your eyes. Feel the power of silence. Feel your heart beating. The last plugin edition I have already teased in my multiband delay melody example is Vintage Phaser as complementation to the Vintage Chorus we got not long ago. As the Vintage Chorus, it will be available for free for the Signature Bundle and upwards. Vintage Phaser is a phaser inspired by and modeled after the Electroharmonic Smallstone Phaser as used by Jean-Michel Jarre most famously on Oxygen. As the vintage chorus, it's sounding absolutely great, with a big range of options to change the sound to your liking. And as before, I leave the details to a dedicated video and let you just hear how it sounds. White noise is a good source to explore what it does.
I've used the vintage phaser on the pad sound and Luxverb on the impact and reverse symbol in a little song idea, which isn't of course ready in any way, but just to show them in a bit of a musical context. Especially the phaser is important on the pad sound, to make it a bit more hearable in the later and more dense arrangement. That's it for today. Have a wonderful time, stay tuned and thank you for watching.